Well hello, good evening and welcome to Camilla and I. And you're in for a treat tonight. We're into really local and accessible wildlife photography. And we're doing it with a red listed bird. Anyway, don't switch off because uh, we do know what we're doing on Camilla and I. We don't do red listed birds lightly. And um, today's red listed bird is the skylark. An incredible bird, very difficult to photograph. A little brown job in some respects. And uh, yes, as it's on the red list, you're not allowed to approach its nest. You're not really even allowed to photograph it to some extent. We have an exception uh, to this rule here on Camilla and I, and that is we can go where the general public go and uh, we can certainly go where the dog walkers go and that is the case. Here we are literally five minutes from my house on Superbike and uh, in this castle, Serum Castle Park that's been set up here. It's now matured and uh, yesterday I saw nine skylarks in one place. Absolutely incredible in this area. And unfortunately, dog walkers crisscross this area like mad. I have seen so many dogs off the lead in this area. It is unbelievable. It is treated like a complete playground. The signs are up, but does it make any difference to these thick skulled dog owners? whoever they are out there. You know the ones I mean. I mean, some people, very good, keep their dogs on a lead the whole time. But these guys, no. Anyway, we're also able to uh, photograph them today because they're before their actual nesting. They're in their mating rituals. They're flying up really high, doing their beautiful song, and then tumbling back down to earth. But unlike normal skylarks, this lot have been posing for us. Skylarks don't usually hang around the tops of small trees. These ones do. In this shrubland, it is absolutely amazing. Whether they're looking out for dogs, and then they drop down to feed for a little bit and then pop back up, I don't know. Anyway, I don't know whether to thank the dog owners or hate them here, but it does give us a marvellous opportunity to photograph the skylark, say a red-listed bird. Amazing. Anyway, also it's given me an absolute marvellous opportunity to put the new lens through its paces and uh, yeah I've had it on the Sony A1 the five, Sigma 500mm f5.6 I've had it on the Sony A1 which is great and then somebody suggested in the comments I try it on the A6700 to give me the 750 reach and of course not only do you get the 750 reach with the A6700, but also you get the excellent 4K video and a full frame of the actual sensor. So it's actually as good a video as I get with my A1, but I c it also has the in-video autofocus. So uh, not that we needed it too much when these Skylarks have just been posing at the top of trees. But anyway, so it's given us a great opportunity to use the Sigma lens because we've been able to get that one stealthily into position rather than the 600 millimeter. Anyway, I have this time finally lumped the tripod round here as well because uh, I'm going to try and get some going vertically into the air, which I haven't really got so far. Um, with the uh, A6700. And I've already been here twice, so I've already got loads of footage, so I don't have to worry about footage for you. But uh, no, we've got plenty, Camilla and I. So it's just a question of showing you what we've used. So uh, anyway, we're out with the tripod. We've got the stealth tripod out. And of course it's been raining. Um, what a surprise in this country. And I think that's the other reason that the Skylarks have been 
so predominantly in the trees. Uh, and they're only little trees, but they are using them, and they're probably using them to avoid getting absolutely soaked like the rest of us. So uh, I'm working around a puddle as we speak. Amazing. <coughs> right, so we're just setting up here in anticipation of some more posing skylarks tonight. I mean, they might not pose now. Um, we will see. But uh, I'm hoping to get some action as I lug the tripod all the way here. But if I haven't, don't worry, I've got loads of photos for you. So I don't know about you, if you've got a nice little area like this, keen with dog walkers, you've got a suitable zoom lens or so we're trying in this uh, Sigma still at the moment. Just check the settings on it. Oh yeah, I did have a problem with that. Optical steady shot. I switched it on to two by mistake the other day and um, just flicked the little switch. So I checked the settings. Auto focus, full, optical steady shot, number one for Sigma. And uh, yeah, we've got the A6700 on. And uh, we're uh, into video. So we'll also take the... Um, aperture lock off so that we can rotate the aperture quick and easy from 5.6 if we want to get more than one bird in the same frame or something Ooh, that'd be really good you never know around here the luck of Camilla and I um, so yeah we don't need this I suppose take the uh, take the straps off it's a bit windy it is a bit windy it's probably a bit windy with windy with the lens hood Anyway, that's about it. Uh, one two thousandth of a second. I think we set. I think we put negative one on the compensation dial with the uh, A6700, just because at the moment it's still a bit bright. We've got about two hours till uh, sunset now, and uh, we're just waiting for the uh, thing and the wind to drop. It'd be nice if the wind dropped. So this morning, when I was getting the uh, skylarks, it was still as can be, and. Um, no problem at all with wind. Hopefully it's not affecting the audio. I'm, that's why I'm this way to camera, with the wind coming this way. Otherwise you wouldn't hear a word. But um, anyway, so far I haven't seen any skylarks, so uh, we will see. Anyway, what are we on? Well, we've got battery in, yeah, that helps. Yeah, turn on. Turn on, one sixteen hundredth of a second. We go one two thousandth of a second, wide open, f5.6. And we can operate the, uh, the apertures on the dial now for video. So uh, excellent, but we'll start wide open, f5.6, because the quality of this lens is very good, as you can see. Right, okay, all we need now is some subjects. Amazing. I'll, I'll show you around a bit, actually. I'll show you around a bit. Okay, I'll explain to you where we are in the uh, grand scheme of things. Quick flip you around. Say so we're literally by the sign which says, uh, very nice sign, skylarks red listed species, meaning their highest cons conservation concern. Skylarks are known to be nesting in this area. They nest on the ground, so are sensitive to disturbance during the nesting season, 1st of March to the 31st of July. We request that you use piles around the edge the rim to give them their best chance of breeding success. Well, yeah, we are, absolutely. And um, yeah, here we are, on Camilla and I, and we've been using the outside paths. Uh, as you can see, these paths crisscross all over here. We've actually been photographing from the main path here in this bench. And uh, we've had them in this tree here, We've had them as close as these uh, foreground trees here. Absolutely incredible. No inhibitions whatsoever, these red-listed skylarks around here. Obviously, they must be fully acquainted with our four-footed friends. Um, yeah, I just don't understand. I was a bit surprised there were so many up here because um, last time I came, there were only a few. And now there seems to be absolutely loads. There must be at least nine I actually counted. So if you count nine, I should think you'd probably double that at least in this area. And um, again, say literally, we're just on the main footpath, looking over towards Bishop Down down there, and then Salisbury off in the distance over here. And uh, yeah, literally, literally a couple of minutes from my house. Unbelievable opportunity. 
So, um, yeah, just can't miss it. Oh, look, there's one of our dog walkers. Yeah, what a surprise. Cow surprise. At least it's on a lead. I mean, my God, that's one of the first. That's one of the first today. As you can see, this is a well-trodden path. This has been uh, all the way through. We could crisscross across here again and round there. Not that we would. We would stick to the the main paths. We're sticking to the main paths, as it says on the uh, the guide. But uh, anyway, we've got close enough without having to uh, get anywhere near their uh, nesting site and uh, nowhere near, no doubt, where the... Uh, Four-legged friends have been. I suspect the four-legged friends have been all over the place. But, uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, you get the lie of the land, folks. The lie of the land is quite amazing. And uh, really, we don't have to go far at all. I got some of the best views just off the path as I was going home this morning. Absolutely incredible, just down there. So what a subject, what a subject. Also, there's been the old kestrel around too, but um, they haven't hung around so much, but there must be at least two or three kestrels up here as well. I've heard a few skylarks, but I haven't seen any so far. Looks like rain stopped play on my third session up here. I must admit, absolutely incredible. But uh, yeah, I think the rain has defeated us yet again this year. So uh, yeah, let me know in the comments below if uh, you've had any uh, outings ruined this year by weather. Anyway, uh, this session is definitely drawing to a close. Anyway, thanks for watching an episode of Camilla and I. Don't forget that if you are going after skylarks in particular, it's a very endangered bird. So uh, it's endangered by all these dog walkers everywhere. Don't worry about the photographers. But uh, if you do photograph it, remember to uh, stick to the paths if you're lucky enough to have a park like this, which seems to have uh, larks everywhere. We're very lucky. Um, but uh, do don't photograph it on the nest or anything like that don't disturb it um, we do want to preserve these birds they were very common at one point up to the 80s in this country they're a very common bird indeed um, but habitat loss etc it's mostly habitat loss that uh, meant they uh, they went into uh, decline rapid decline i mean they're still common throughout the uk um, there are plenty around and I think certainly here they're a success story, without a doubt, despite the dogs. Absolutely incredible. And uh, the odd attention from a photographer like myself. But um, no, an incredible subject. So if you are lucky enough to uh, be able to get some skylarks, a very good subject. Not just a small brown job, a very good bird indeed. Anyway, I think we'll call it a wrap here for tonight on Camilla and I. Didn't get any extra footage tonight, but I got so much earlier that it's gonna take me ages to go through the computer to uh, present this video. Anyway, I'll put some, uh, some of the best stuff at the end as usual. Anyway, have a good one. Bye from Camilla, the A6700, and the new Sigma 500mm f5.6. Have a good one.